here in Fremont's Central Park. Here, the Hayward Fault cuts through. The Hayward Fault is different from other faults in that it doesn't need an earthquake to move. It's moving all the time. Let's see what happens when you build a building on top of a creeping fault. This concrete floor was poured in 1962 when they built this building. This crack formed since then. If you look at the lines, they are displaced to the right by a few centimeters. But these lines used to run straight across. This is what happens when you build a building on top of a creeping fault. This activity is also called a seismic fault activity. The Hayward Fault is moving at a rate of about five millimeters a year a seismically. That means it's moving every day over time without any earthquakes. Here you can see what happens to the concrete as the Hayward Fault is moving. This wooden beam is bent to the right and the concrete is cracked. That's because the concrete behaves brittly and is fractured and the wooden beam behaves a bit more elastically and is allowed to bend.